Hello and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 Story. We are Franklin at the moment and we are across the street from Michael's. We're about to stop in and see what Michael's up to and what he would like from us. So let's get in here. There seems to be a lot of people parked in here. And there's a naked guy dropping from the balcony. What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> if I walked in my wife was fucking someone else, okay, I'd be pissed too. What happened? Guy I'd be going my chasing down the motherfucker happened. and wanting Let's to kill him. Although I probably wouldn't have let him escape. Though I guess he did jump out the window, so there wasn't much option. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking. But people are dirty cheaters, so. What can you do? And really, I'd be pissed at her and not him because. You know, she was willing to do it, and she's supposed to be faithful to you, not him. Get out of the way, goddammit! There we go. Cheating's not a good thing, don't do it. It's bad. And if you have cheated, shame on you. Okay, this is the turn. Hey! You know, one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. That's his car, right There's there. There's his car. Little prick's up there. Hello, what? we're here. Oh, shit. Cole's doing all right for himself. What's hey, up? asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession. There's a winch. <laughs> In the back of the truck. Tidy if it was a profession, oh, there. there'd be a lot of rich you people, I guess. Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Or a lot of people Man, really doing that profession. Dramatic. Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's got to get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! And here we, here we go. go, pulling it down. Ah, let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! Woohoo! Hold on tight, buddy. Because it's a coming on down. Boom! Give it some! Oh, yeah. Come on. Man, down, One man. more. Come on, man. Do it to him. Are you fucking there we serious, go. nigga? Woo. That's a bit of a mess. Yeah! Fuck, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. I'm not asking a special bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Oh, that pole. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Fuck you, pole. Hey, look the fuck out. Mr. Move. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house. Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. 
I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. What is happening? Hey, man, it's a mean looking motherfucking ass thing right behind. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep okay. trying. Yeah. We can handle this, right? Screw them. Uh oh, that guy got there we it. go. Yeah, I'll just kill this guy. Me. There we go. Hey, fuck off! All right, all right. Got one of those bastards. And this guy. I think you slipped, him, man. And we're good. Oh, oh. What? Up? Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, good. Franklin, I am slipping I right out of the car. Your aim's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you sure I didn't hit? Uh, maybe go to a shooting range and work on your aim before we go out again. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? This time let's Fine stay in the vehicle. Not, you okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you, mentally. I mean, you, mentally. Mentally? Oh man, I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes, fucking A, Bubba. Excuse me. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. You got visitors. Do you know who I am? And they don't look happy Do you at all. know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. He just hands it over. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now, maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. <laughs> What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that it, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. 2.5 million. That's not a small number. That's nice. Come on, man. What a beautiful lady. Damn, you are. And <laughs> not really. Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. Ooh. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Lester. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Poor Franklin got his license stolen. Although he willingly gave it over, so I don't know. And willingly let him walk away without saying anything. Marriage counseling. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <laughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh. 
You don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. <laughs> how do you know where I live? I Excuse me, come through. <laughs> you left your hat, dude. Might want to come back and get that. Alright, um... Going this way. We're going to see Lester. Introduce us a new character. This mysterious Lester. Doc, hey. Michael. Well, I'm looking through my appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. You got lucky, buddy! Funny thing is, is... Last time I did that, it wasn't until like end game that I even bothered to go there. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, I'll go there sooner this time. Gotta love that message. Too soon to bring up tennis? Assuming I'm not getting another coach anytime soon. Need some uh, some time to play. Where was it? Here it is. Get another coach anytime soon. So I need someone to play with. Worried my grip is getting loose. XX. Yeah, her grip. She needs to work on her grip. If you know what I mean. Where the hell am I going? Supposed to be going to to not Franklin's to oh. Lester's, and I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just taking a fucking casual drive through the neighborhood, reading text messages while driving, because I'm smart like that. Coming through. Out of the way. That's a decent car. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh. Well then, all that from a fire hydrant, that was a little much. Okay, we're almost there. We go down this, oh, this way, we'll make a right on this little alley and Anybody? things will be good. Dude, I ain't got time for your shit. We're going to see Lester. He's down here. We're here. Hello, Lester. Hello, Lester. We're here. Fuck you, Lester. <laughs> you gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> Nothing like flipping people off. Oh, door unlocked. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? 
by selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> you are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> and there you have it. <laughs> that is Lester. He's a lovely fellow, isn't he? So now we get to go shopping. Because we need some new clothes for this mission. So we're gonna run down here to the store and buy what we need. And it's hopefully not too far of a drive. It doesn't look like it's that far. Okay, maybe it's a little farther than I thought. But luckily we got this nice freeway or whatever to uh, take us there. So it's a little bit faster than the route that it probably took to get to Lester's. That's for sure. Squeeze through. Coming through. Thank you. Uh, and I missed my turn. Uh, gotta go up. Oh gosh. Gotta go up. Go up here, turn up here. This way, there we go. And we'll squeeze through these trees. Smart car! And there we go. It's just right here. Oh gosh. Good enough parking job for me. Suburban. I believe they've had these shops in like every GTA. Ah, excuse so me. Nice had clothing to clothing to buy. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Okay, so we're looking for a vest and cargo shorts. Let's see. What color vest? We'll go with the the red, I think. Why not? Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. And now we need to come over here, I think. Yeah, and we're gonna get a pair of shorts to go with it. There we go, that'll do. Digging I'm not spending time, time going I through and making sure it looks work. perfect. Good luck at the interview. Just making sure it's good enough Bye. for what we need. So now we hop back into the car. And hopefully it starts. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Gonna give Lester a call. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you wanna run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Job of sneaking into a place. Excuse me, it's squeezing through. Look at that guy on a faggy. Just button along. Squeeze through here. 
Thankfully the life invader place was not that far away. And we're just gonna do one of these and perfect parking job. We're somewhat in between the lines. And we run up here. And cutscene. <laughs> Can't get enough of those. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to the thing you have to do for this guy. You know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we um. release. Consulting consultors. We really need to like draw a line under this issue, dude. You know, I may have to uh, cut this I'm part kind of due to YouTube <laughs> claims or not claims, but uh, hi. Oh, hi. you know, Chill YouTube stuff. Right I don't want to get banned. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a uh, sure but a there is a lot of porn really? on this guy's computer. And you have to go through and remove the porn viruses from his computer to get to his antivirus, activate the antivirus, and then from there, uh, you're done. So I will be right back when I get that done. Things strictly safe and for work from back. that one. Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the phone. I mean, I'm pr that m part may have been okay to, to show, but I, for safety, I'm not showing it. So we rigged up the prototype, left our bag at the prototype like an idiot, you know, leave dude. the evidence. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. And now we just sneak our way out of here. Sit, 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 sit. Put back, Not really back. sneaking, it's more of just walking out. Ooh, on, that voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, me. Okay. So it's just walking out Some the door. If I totally non-passive aggressive. It's your fault, you illiterate effing C's. She's so upset about her special milk. Alright, we're gonna go jump in this car. And call Lester again, apparently. Hey Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester! The thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem, you don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me, I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Ow. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Tough fucking tits! Go watch TV in your own room. So we're going to change the channel, I guess. To Life Invaders. Hey. So 
We gotta give him a call once he pulls out the prototype. Has come a long After he gives us a little speech. In my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. <laughs> we have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. We spent all our money on this. Workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Woo. Weasel news. Today, Peak right pride here, populate. We are about Interesting. To make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The future. The Life Invader mobile device. Oh my god. We've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Hmm. Let's see. Jay Norris. Let's give him a ring. Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Ooh! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 you know he did. Whoa. Hot damn. Now that's a phone I don't want. Poor guy got his head blown off. And that's another mission down, so... I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed, as always. Take care. Catch you later. Hold on. Not yet. <laughs> Last... That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. Alright. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. And there we go. All right. Bye-bye.